Hi guys, uh, today I'm going to get started on the uh, seat pan for the Bighorn. So let's get to, get to it here. Don't know how this is going to go. Never done one before. I've fixed a lot of them, but I've never made one from scratch. Uh, I'm going to attempt to just cut a pattern out. I think I can get it pretty much that with that. And uh, I'm just going to actually I think I'll go ahead and tape that down around the edge too. Might make it a little easier. And what I'm going to try to do here is just follow the edge. Uh, this is going to be made in several pieces. So I'm going to cut out the top. So that's what I'm marking out now. I just kind of follow the edge around. Okay, kind of got our pattern cut out here. I'm going to build the top in one piece. Actually, no, that's not true. Uh, these cutouts, it's cut out for the fender. I'm going to have to add that later. Uh, I may even cut it out of here because that's the only place that's good on here. But we'll have to look and see. The only the only places that really need it to need need to be up is right around the air cleaner and right here where it goes over the fender. Uh, we also need to get uh, so that this is flat for these uh, for the hinges and we'll have to make all that stuff. Um, guess there's not a lot to it it's just uh, probably welding some nuts on trying to get them in the right place and then the latch I'll probably take from here as as I will these uh, perches in the back but there's these here serve no purpose except to stiffen the uh, the structure so I'll probably do that in a different way on the bead roller but like I say, we're going to have to we're going to have to incorporate this here and this. However, these are both uh, quite a uh, quite a bit uh, bigger, deeper than they need to be. But I'm going to try to get back to about the same thing. So, got that, and we've got a piece of sheet metal here, and we're just going to transfer our pattern to it. And I'll be cutting the inside of my magic marker line. It's just sad that you can't get these. I, I suppose it's all about money. If people, you know, if, you, if there's not enough demand, then of course people can't uh, 
make the molds and pay somebody to, to stamp them out and all that. But you sure wish they could. All right, let me get my cutting gear together and we'll cut it. Well, when I first looked at this, I didn't think this would uh, be enough this way, but it is. So I re, uh, redrew my lines and that way it'll save me some tin here. Hopefully I can use for something else. got this cut out and I'm kind of lining up two front pieces up. <clears throat> this will roll back on to here. I've left just a little bit extra in the back. Maybe a quarter of an inch. I can always trim that. It's harder to put it on. So what I'm looking at is uh, kind of getting this bend put in the top. That's kind of what I'm looking at. You know, I'm going to get a tape measure and see if I can make that a little straighter. Primarily just uh, looks like about 11 inches and these kind of go at an angle but I think I'll be all right putting a straight one in. Then I've got another bend here, but this piece I think I'm going to cut out of here. And I don't know whether I'll try to weld this piece in there or make my own. We'll just, we'll see. Let's see, this other bend is at about 14 and an eighth. Yep. Okay, let me get set up over at the brake and we'll uh, we'll see if we can bend these.
Okay, let's go over and check it out. This is kind of the beginning of it here. I think that's pretty close. It sh should be in the same plane as this. I think these bends are pretty close. And I may just have to adjust this ducktail a little bit. But that gives us a foundation for it. And like I say, this will cut out on here, and I may use this piece, I'm not sure yet. And uh, I've got to make a little dome here for the front where the uh, air filter goes. And I'm going to add some rigidity to it in here. I think that's kind of what I need to do next, is just put a couple of uh, ribs down here because once I put this in I won't be able to get to it so that's probably where I need to go next let me think about that a minute okay we get these uh, beads rolled in here give this a little rigidity
there we go. That really stiffens that, that piece up. Now the uh, this piece that goes over the fender, once that's in, that will stiffen the back of this up. for the sides. Okay, kind of the next step here I believe is I made this a little wider here for the same reason that it's wider here and I'll trim it down after I get it uh, welded on. I can probably mark this in here and cut this stair step out. Then this will get welded on but it's this down here I'll have to uh, shrink it to get it to curve up again. So we'll We'll show that also, but a lot of this will have to come off because really it's uh, it really is only about an inch all the way around, just like this, with a cut out here for the fender in the back. But on the sides, you've got, like I said, just a little bit extra for this stair step, and then. If it's whatever's too much, I can just trim off the bottom here. So I guess uh, guess we're re about ready to do some welding. So when I get to that point, I'll bring you back. Maybe you can see now. Oops. Gotta have ground.
All right, that's the beginning. And this will will trim off uh, what we don't need because most of this, like I said, is going to be a, about an inch. So when we get that in, uh, this stuff here will be trimmed off and the same back here. And this is where we'll have to uh, uh, shrink or stretch this a little bit to get it to make this curve. Okay, we're starting this uh, inch wide strip here across the side. I've trimmed off a little bit of the uh, stair step area here. <clears throat> and at this point, I can't tell whether you're, you can see here or not. Okay, yep. Um, I'm just I'm going to start wrapping this around and tacking it as I go. Now I'm uh, closing my eyes when I pull the trigger here, so uh, it's not something you should do. But I feel like it's I'm safe. Actually, you know that op that is open in the front. Hmm. Yeah, I don't need that in the front. Just looking here, this this was all open here, so that I don't need. I need to eliminate that uh, right here at the edge. So that's what we'll do. Looks like it's uh, kind of at an angle here. Okay, so we got it up the side anyway. It's not quite right angle yet. You just kind of pull this as you go along to try to get it. I'm sure there's some better sheet metal workers out there than I am. I am a novice. But I know what I want it to do. I'm just not sure whether I can get it to do it. Keep hitting the trigger on it. Okay. 
did it again. <clears throat> See what I did here on the other side was just move this, just run it or start it around the corner. About right there. Hopefully we can get that to stay in one place. I think we can. Anyhow, that's uh, that's what we've got going on there. I can go ahead and trim this piece off now, and we'll just continue the same way around the back. Okay, I'm over to shrinker now, and what I want this to do is to make a slight curve this way and I can do that by running it through the shrinker here you see how it's starting to turn I'm gonna run over and see how we're looking And we've got to do some more. Just a little more here. Oops. Other side. Okay, you see what we're trying to do here now? I've got to get this uh, ducktail, and that's how we're. I'm not sure whether you're seeing that or not, but we don't want to pull this down. We want to maintain that ducktail, and then as we go around here, I think we're all right at that point. So let me, uh, let me get this tacked on.
Okay, let's uh, do a test fit real quick. See how we're coming along. It's about how she's going to fit, I think. Got enough room there under the for the fender. And this I'll have to trim off a little bit right here. Actually, it's probably over a little too far too. Let's go that way a little. We're just about over where the. I think it'll actually fit like this. Kind of comes up a little bit or down rather. We'll go ahead and fill that in. Work on the uh, air cleaner indention. We've got one side filled in and one to go. Of course all these uh, welds get somewhat ground down. They're not, it's not that necessary because um, it's going to have foam over it. So it's just going to, the foam is going to get glued down and uh, You'll never see it. I uh, will for sure put paint on it though. But it's looking pretty pretty close I think. I think these getting the location on these hinges is going to be a real deal but uh, we'll get there. Okay guys we're getting we're, we're getting pretty close but this video is going to run pretty long, so I think I'm going to have to make a two-parter out of it. Um, but it looks like our clearance for the fender is going to work as it should. And uh, really what I've got to do now is I've got to cut this out and build a little dome like this 
up here and right here where the uh, right in the front it's got to come up just a little bit I don't know if you saw all that or not uh, but yeah I've got to got to make the dome here I'll go ahead and cut out some holes up here for uh, just like they did on theirs but I think it's going to work uh, it's it's a long drawn out process and I'd rather do just about anything but that but it's got to be done because this one ain't going to work hey thanks for going along on the ride see you next video